M0FXB, Anytone have released their latest DMR and NXDM radio, and you can buy this in the UK now from several different retailers at a very reasonable price. They're all selling them for £189.95. I think that's excellent value because they have added dual receive. So it's like you've got two radios in one. Cross, it says, as it says here, cross band repeat with AM airband and APRS on analog digital. They have decided to change the color of the case. I don't think they needed to do it, but I get it. They wanted to, you know, give us the feeling of a new radio. Uh, but fundamentally, that case is the same case. The screen, though, is lovely. And I've got the other one in the background, which is also lovely. I feel like this one might even be a bit better, but, but we're going to need to use it for a while uh, to do that. So I haven't programmed a code plug into it before. Um, if you're not familiar with what a code plug is, these kinds of radios, you know, DMR radios, uh, you can program software on your computer and then send it to the radio. And I absolutely love that because you can customize the background. You can put photographs in the background. You can customize all the different colors. And, and I think that's excellent. Now, also in this device, and we'll show you the settings menu, you've got GPS, Bluetooth and satellite tracking. So if we just press the flat line here. Uh, start at the top and go down. So talk groups, that's the DMR thing. Messages, you can send messages on DMR. Zones are groups of channels and you've got history there to look at your call log. Scanning and roaming. If, you, if Roaming is you can drive up and down the country if you load your code plug up cleverly and sent, and I have never done this, and it will automatically switch to the nearest repeater as you pass it. So that's quite clever, that's roaming for you. Uh, so keep going down. Uh, yeah, big settings menu there. Radio set is where you set things like the background, the brightness, how long the screen, screen stays on and things like that. So there you are. And how loud it gets. There's the display functions. You can preset all the keys, including the top one to do what you want it to do. DMR, you know, dedicated section there for DMR. Oops. Back button is this red one. Other functions. Let's quickly show them. Uh, go back now channel set is the main one for programming a channel so you would go new channel and you'd start to, oops you start to uh, input the frequency and you you all, I'm not gonna do it in this video because I want to do dedicated videos for programming also I want to really I want to get my code plug into into it uh, so that I can um, let's go back so that I can because otherwise I'm going to be putting in hundreds of channels I will do a video showing you how to put in one channel at a time but this kind of radio you you really you want software although it's designed to be used on the fly okay uh, so go menu keep going down and you've got roaming there's your GPS let's just turn that on just for now just that I'm curious to see if it gets a lock um, satellite you upload some data it's not going to work now because it's not been uploaded yet location edit name view select and when you've got this you know correctly configured you can see your location uh, let's go down settings and device info and the and yeah i haven't put my dmr id in you do need a ham radio license and you <clears throat> you get a dmr uh, number automatically once you've uh, filled out the form 890 uv version 101 i'm sure that i think there is a new version of firmware already for this aprs and bluetooth boards in there as well and yes it will pair to speakers it will pair to several microphones i've tried it and this one just these just pair very well four keyboard alphabet as well satellite digi monitor so that allows through all the different talk groups and slots all at the same time you choose okay you choose and if you're not familiar with that you'll learn it if you've got one of these radios bluetooth let's just turn it on for the sake of it oh blue bluetooth kiss tnc so that means i didn't know they had that uh, with kiss tnc means you'll be able to pair it via bluetooth to an app like aprs droid on your phone and when this is receiving aprs and it's paired to the aprs droid app uh, 
um, with your you do have your own APRS number again, which is just given to you if if you've got a ham ham license, um, and then it will send what you're receiving into the APRS system and transmit it around around the APRS system. So that's brilliant. I didn't even know it had that. So I'm going to spend a day on this tomorrow. What I'll try and do now is we'll go into at the moment it says VFO mode. Let's just. A and B. So let me just put in four, three, four, five, five, zero. Yeah, turn it up and see if I can get my node. Now we need to be in analog mode to hear this. It says DMR. So let me just switch from DMR to analog and we can have a listen. So we'll go menu and go down to settings, select channel set. And we'll just, we won't start a new channel we just start configuring look channel type so select now as soon as we put in analog we Not should the start Thank hearing you. it there you go so we'll let that play a minute yeah evening dave and then evening, now what i'm going to do i'm going to go to the b band the which here. is set to, to the p1 at the moment and I'm going to put in there my hotspot for which is digital. I'm not sure who's going to eat better, her or you're on. So that's my hotspot. DMR. And then we'll just go back into the menu and go to settings. Uh, channel set. Now, channel type, digital, yeah, it's fine. Receive frequency that should be already set. Yes, it is. That's my hotspot. So we type that in at the beginning. Why is it not going in? I like a fish supper. Can we go up? Why is it not letting me go in? I don't want to delete anything. I've grabbed my hotspot in the background, or one of my hotspots. Uh, anyway, back we go to menu. And set channel, channel type we've done. Let's see if I can get the talk group in there. Radio ID, my radio, we could do that, couldn't we? Um, edit. Now when I do the code plug, it's going to add all this anyway, but we'll just delete. And my DMR number is 2341. Four, three, seven. Confirm. Uh, I'm going to do save just to make sure. Uh, select radio ID. I just hope see it's there. Someone is actually talking now on four three one five five zero. It's still not coming through. I wonder if we have to select dual receive. Yeah, I'm not, I've been looking at the manual, I'm not seeing an obvious dual receive thing here, simultaneous, yeah. Um, but of course, I've just took it out of the box. Uh, let's go, but it's, it does sound very nice, just like the uh, older model does, menu. Uh, let's go down to settings, uh, channel set. Just seeing an obvious dual Receive group list, work alone, channel ranging, APRS, SMS, data, DATAC forbid, DMR mode. And remember, we've got this radio is has the ability to do NXDN. But DMR, look at that, DMO, simplex, and repeat. It could be that it will receive two, you know, because the uh, DMR channel has two time slots or cut in half one and two maybe it, it can receive two at the same time uh, but I, I just don't know so let me um go to the let's put in an air band frequency one three three yeah it looks like you got to go into air band mode to do that i did see that in the in setting the channel buttons so set uh, radio set key function let's go backwards uh, to key let's do a long one p1 
PF1 long. Okay, we'll go like that. We'll select AM. BFO mirror. There it is there. Let's try it. Pressing it. FM mode. Oh, so that becomes radio mode as well. So broadcast radio, good. Children saw their parents unconscious or bleeding. Many people search desperately for loved ones knowing they were alive. Seventy seven year olds. Now let's go one three three. So that's that's definitely not airband, is it? But we at least we know that broadcast radio works. Voltage showing there. AMR selected. Right, that's better. So when I did it that time, it did select it. So one, oops, we have to back out here. Uh, go to the A band. And go one, three, three. Right, it's letting me put it in now. And I'll, what I'll do, I'll, I'll add an external antenna so I see if we can pick up some aircraft. And as soon as I connected it, it came to life. That is, that's good. Ryanair is flying over. So yeah, well at least we know that works well. Let's see if I can get my DMR to come to life, because there is DMR coming out of of this uh, of this set at the moment, the DB Mega Hotspot. That's Carl at TV Mega. So let's um, let's get some settings in there and see if we can listen. Just going to quickly see if PMR goes in. So in the UK it's four four six. Yes, that goes in, and then four six two GMRS. Yep, and then one five six is airband. Oops, did that one wrong. Oops, and again. Yeah, so that's all going in there. Uh, 220, that'd be a good one, wouldn't it? Not letting me type at the moment. Oh, that's your answer. It doesn't, it doesn't do 220 megs. I know a lot of in the USA would rather that it did. Cool. Okay, we've got a DMR contact in there. Connect, like on the B band, you can't see it. But on the B band, I've got my Hubnet node in there. Of course, when it's loaded up properly, you'll have everything there. Showing. I'm just trying to activate my node. See if we do or receive. Let me just change channel a minute. See that? It's hub now. But when I go, when I go back to. Okay. Well, for you, and I told you, pleasure. Pleasure. I made this contact with you. I'm not hearing uh, best regards, I mean... Hubnet, which would be on the B-band here. It's dual monitoring. So I'm just trying to work out if what they meant by dual receive was that you could hear two slots, one and two, or maybe you can hear broadcast. So, hmm, and it's, I'm not seeing that it's... Let's have a look what it says on the on the box here and then we'll just quickly connect it to my code plug on my PC and then would that be enough for today because it's quite a long video isn't it um, I'll probably split these into two separate videos so um, no that's not in English so let's try the other side any tone 890 I mean it definitely says cross band repeat Amateur radio, cross band, repeat, air band. So I, I, I'm question marks with the whole dual receive thing, okay? But yeah, Bluetooth GPS. 
and um, so the next video will be it will be connected to the radio we do get a programming cable supplied with the radio we did get the, the ptt button as well which is handy we didn't get the headset but okay I mean, they're not expensive and there's so many budget had headsets that, that will work with this radio i still think it's a fantastic product Five hundred thousand contacts Five hundred thousand contacts so um and when it's programmed correctly oh, no. it's going to sound great bye for now